Welcome back to the channel everybody in the winter sun. Always this weird light that's always coming in from side angles in the winter. We're doing some work right now trying to get our trailer lights to work. I ended up having to get a whole new set. I got one set that were squares. They didn't work. Said I was going to do it in the last video. Ran out of time. We were uh, going to help out Mr. Riley, who I'm happy to report got his first buck ever. Congratulations, Riley. And since I got a little time this morning, I'm going to replace these. The trailer lights have ground wires on them, and then the trailer itself also has ground wires running all the way back, which normally I think they're just grounded up front. The crispy collector is crusty. Oh, look at that dangler there. We gotta get this thing street legal so we can go on some more adventures, so that's step one of the day. Over here we've got a grounded white, a brown, and a red. So that white ground wire runs all the way to the front of the trailer. And then we have another ground right here, which I'm gonna connect to the back half of this. Uh, I guess it's gonna be double grounded, I don't know. Let's see if it makes any fires. Okay, installed. And the blinky. We are good. Both sides are working. I'm assuming brake, brake, brake lights are gonna work too. Crispy collector is road legal. Taking a break from fixing up the crispy right now. I've got the lights working. I've gotta put a little special golden crispy paint on there. Babe, you got those stencils that I can use? I do have those stencils, yeah. Gonna need to borrow those. Let me go, um... OSG in her house shoes right now not camera ready. Something that I wanted to put into the vlog today was this roast because you were just talking to me downstairs. You're like, hey honey, what about this roast? And I was like, oh my gosh, the roast. I forgot about it. Not just any roast, deer roast. Let's take a gander. This is a portion of the back quarter of the deer. I'm not sure exactly of what the cut is, is called. Um, top roast or I don't know, top roast, rump roast? Rump uh, roast? Don't know. OSG is going to throw it in this pot right here and cook it all day till it's just fall off the bone, no bone in there, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and then to follow that up, we had some breakfast biscuits, rosemary cream cheese deliciousness. So we're saving some of those so you get the juices and then you sop that up with the juices and it is yee! Wow, some of this is just going to come right off here. What happened there? It might be easier after freezing it. What is the name for that? Do you know, honey? I should know this. Oh, I used to know. Because I studied, I studied the same yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, bi biology, you know, dissected cats. I remember doing yeah. this with cats in the lab. Well, the fat is not really fat, it's tallow. And then this stuff is, uh, what like is it? Subcutaneous. Oh, subcutaneous. Keep going with that. I, that sounds fancy. I don't remember. <laughs> so that right there is what we're going to put in our mouth and really mm. enjoy. My dream is to be able to do all this very quickly. You've got cowboys on your side. You've cowboys and butchers. butchers. Yeah, literally my uncles have a cattle business. And then my, my great-grandfather, sorry, my great-grandfather, he was the butcher, so. Well, hey, little girl. Somebody's still in her PJs. I mean, we need to get dressed. Look at that hair. She's like, what are you guys doing in here without me? I'm trying to watch my movie. We are back in the great outdoors, y'all. 
real reason I even go out in the winter is to try to get a big bass. This is the time when the, the female bass, they start really f filling up with eggs. And that's a lot of species too. You know, it's big catfish, stripers. fish on oh, down there in the deeps my gosh look at that large mouth right there oh golly what a pale pale one he is jeez my leaves. let me tell you what's going on right here big school of bass coming in hot so i'm gonna get back down there after i untangle myself What's going on is we have bass that are cruising a flat after balls of shad. That's them right there. So, okay, I'm going to fall down. And then I'm going to jig up a couple times and snag one of these babies. Got him on the bottom. My goodness. <laughs> on the bottom. Oh, gosh, is that a big white bass? Daggum, it is. That is a hog jammer of a white bass. My goodness. Got him. A little winter time. You never know what you're going to get out here on the, on the flats next to the creek channels. Just know they are on the bottom and it is cold. Oh, there's another one. Gosh. Dang. They like it not moving very much oh white bass okay all right this is good this is good there's nothing right here except there's a creek channel next to it oh there he is again okay we're on the juice pie right here white bass little white bass nope we could even get a crappie just don't know i love this type of fishing though it takes a lot of time on the graph but worth it when you find them and I've just got to get it really close to the bottom here boy they do not like it moving very much got him just waiting on that big hog to grab it big largey oh gosh dang it's running good god these are magnums these are magnums holy moly that looks like a hybrid Woo! if I didn't have to go to a meeting here in just like 30 minutes. I would keep these, but golly, where are these crappies? Where are the crappies? We get a largey on the first drop and then everything else is a white bass. Big and stupid. I only saw like six or seven of them on the down imaging but they were they were there Woo! just got floated oh come on there's a good one there oh it's not him though okay y'all i love this type of fishing in the fall and winter when you can get on it it's just insane because the fish are just it's literally every drop they get concentrated in one little spot and you don't know what you're gonna get seriously i've caught huge catfish i've I've caught white bass, obviously, you know, you catch stripers, you catch largemouth, and then once you find the bait, you can usually find fish like roaming around those parts, and the largemouth, it seems, are roaming more than these, uh, these other species. Like, I really want to get on some crappie. I'm using a little painted quarter ounce spoon, um, and actually this company sent me these. I really like them. They're, they're made for uh, crappie and bass or binks, binks, made by binks. Anyway, they, uh, they have a nice, they put a swivel on top, which is good. And they have some pretty good paint jobs on them. They're made for vertical jigging. And when they get stacked up like this and you can vertically jig, 
I usually use a jig like this, and there's also one made by 10,000 fish that I use a lot called the Death Stalker. And that thing is, that's probably my favorite. But I just switched up to this because I want to try out these spoons. It seems to be working pretty good. This is totally not how I wanted to catch them. Gosh, I wanted to catch them on the bank with a jig, but <laughs> I love doing this too. I'll do whatever it takes to catch them. Don't, don't get me wrong. You're lucky my fridge is full right now, sir. 25 foot deep, got one. Wow, we're just tearing them up. Absolutely tearing them up. Oh, here we go. Here we go, y'all. This is it. Man, I'm gonna hook up with something. Oh my. Hey, take a peek at those electrodes. Oh, there he is. Oh, I hit you. Oh, come on now. What are you? Oh, you're just a big old white bass. Golly. I've gone from not catching anything on jigs on the bank to doing a little graphing and catching. Probably got like 15, 20 fish here in every drop. I'm gonna go ahead and just mark a little waypoint here. Okay, y'all. I'm still getting smoked, but I have to go. Like I have, I have to, I have to leave. <laughs> this is insane. Woo! Outdoor greatness, baby. From the woods to the water, I like to do it all. I hope hey, little girl. Okay, y'all. Through the magic of time and space, we are here at the end of the croc roast. And it smells delicious. Are those sweet baby carrots with my little baby? know it. Gosh, I love a good sweet carrot in my life. Gosh, you're my sweet carrot lot. too, honey. Actually, she's my little baby sweet carrot. I'm the and mama you're my carrot. big carrot. <laughs> Thank you. I like that. All right, are you ready to see that roast? I am. Pop that top. Oh. That gum. I just that gum. You wrapped it up it. and everything. I did. Well, yeah. that well you told me to do that. smells good. So what all did you put in here? I know you added some butter because we don't have fat in venison. We have So I tallow. did like a layer of butter and then I put the carrots and the shallots on top and then I put the roast and then, oh, and then I layered it with like some oranges, cinnamon sticks, two cinnamon sticks. Oh, that go. And then I just covered it in like salt, pepper, rosemary, white pepper. Uh, what else did I put in there? Say no more. It's it's <laughs> oh man. Okay, we gotta let's get this thing out of here. See it see it break apart. You ready for this? Babe, I'm I'm ready. This is my first deer roast. <gasps> okay, shrinkage. Oh shrunk. yeah. <laughs> I think you could eat this like year or so. Wow. It was like twice as big. It was. Okay, I need it's to get, condensed down all the flavors. I need to get some of these juices going on. Choking? What is going on? Excited. Just excited. Where's that cinnamon stick? It like fully opened. Just trying to get those juices going. Wow. This is venison done right. Yes, it is. Venison done right. All right, let's try to open it. Hey, Amy's enjoying her new table, by the way. Let's see the tenderness. It should be fork. I mean, this has been in there how long? Uh, seven hours. Seven hours. It looks outstanding. Uh, it is, I think. What's going on here? It's. What's happening? Ooh, I don't know. It's still a little. Oh, what? I mean, it's definitely falling apart, but remember, we had it all wrapped up. Maybe we shouldn't have wrapped it up. It's still a little hard here. What if I were to, like, shred it and put it back in? We might have made some jerky. We might have made a little boo-boo. Emmy, did you just throw your first thing? What'd you throw? You threw a cell phone. Wow. What, was it right or left-handed? I didn't catch that. Did anybody um, see that? By looking at her, I want to say it's her right. Bless you. Bless you. I don't know. Maybe we should like um, separate it and then put it back in there for 30 minutes. Do it, because that, that looks dry. That's not what a roast is supposed to be. 
Steph is breaking it apart right now. Let's get a little taste test on this. I'm gonna take a big chunk. I'm gonna dip it in the juice. Juice dipped. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. That is amazing. If we stick this back in there. Oh my, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get it in those juices because right. those are Let's do it. phenomenal. There we go. Let's take out all of those things there. Because those just need to go. <laughs> those just need to leave. Okay. They were serving no purpose in that drawer. They need to be on the floor. Compliments to the chef for cooking with such distractions. And there goes the drawer lighter. Everything. Okay, we just put it back in, maybe about 30 minutes, soak those up. It was a little sweet, but it wasn't like like a sweet meat, like you think of uh, like an, an Asian short rib, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, it wasn't like that. It was just like a good, uh, I don't know, fall harvest flavor? Mm. Outstanding. I mean, for a white-tailed deer to taste like that, yeah. You guys got to try this. We're going to write it down. Uh, I'll put a link, or not a link. You're probably not gonna have a link to your venison website. Uh, I'll leave the recipe just listed in the description. It's freaking great. Just need to soak it in this juice a little bit. I just not, got a couple of adjustments, a couple of dial-ins. I think going backward, I would have taken uh, the cut off both the legs and did them at the same time in the, in the juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't have done that, Amy? You wouldn't have done that? I, I kind of think that was the move. Oh, that's a no-no drawer. That's all the spices. That's a no-no drawer. Can you close that? No! Wow, full, full, full layout. Full floor mode. That's when you know it is dinner time. Baby girl, I got you gourmet mac and cheese over here. I don't, wait, I don't have any greens for you. That's fine, we don't need those. We got orange things. <laughs> a little carrot. So many carbs and protein. Would you just... Become Russian right there? What was that? So many carbs and protein. <laughs> Jeez, who did I marry? I don't know. The juices have soaked back in to the meat now. Okay, I need to try some of this because you've wow. been raving about this. I'm telling you. Okay, oh, it's still. Oh, you won't still. believe the flavor. You're gonna be like, no. Mmm. I taste the apple cider. I think that was a good, good choice on my part. Mmm. Taste the cinnamon. It, go, it goes for a while. Mm -hmm. You're like, ooh, ooh. Give me another piece. I think I would have shredded it a little earlier and like kept it soaking for probably like two hours. I'm just gonna enjoy the heck out of this. Wow. Okay. We'll leave the recipe down below. Let's move on to other outdoor things. Dad, gum. That deer roast is good, y'all. And moving on. We're going to be working on the chicken coop next. I've also got a couple of clear water lakes that I'm going to head up to. We've got some changing conditions outside. Looks like some rain is in the forecast. And speaking of deer, I just checked the trail cams. And there's three does that are coming in the yard like every night. I love this time of year, y'all. It's, it's hunting, fishing, so many choices. So follow along, stay tuned, God bless, and I'll see you right back here in the outdoors on the next one.